Hello, my name is Chris Duncan and I'm one of the teachers here at Netherley Primary School. Today we're going to be looking at some of the activities and vocabulary involved when teaching fractions to children working at first level. Children coming up from early years will already have experienced topics involving sharing objects, folding and splitting paper and halving. Children will be told that a fraction is part of a whole. Teachers may use an example like this to show the children. The chocolate bar here is the whole. When we split the chocolate bar up, each part is a fraction of the chocolate bar. Children are shown that when a whole is split up, each part is given a name, depending on the number of parts. The bottom number of the fraction is the number of parts in the whole. The bottom number is called the denominator. In this example, there are four parts all together. One, two, three, four. So the denominator is four. The numerator refers to the amount of parts taken from the whole. In this case, the numerator is two. So we have two quarters. As you can see in this example, we have one, two, three parts to the whole. So the denominator is three. We have one part taken from the whole. So the numerator is one. This is referred to as one third and not one three. And this can be confusing for children. So it's best to explain it in terms of winning a race, coming third or fourth or fifth, etc. So for instance, if you had two over five, you had two fifths. Hi, I'm Kristen McLean, another teacher at Netherly Primary, and I'm going to talk about some of the activities that children do when learning about fractions at first level. Activities would include things like splitting a fraction into parts and representing this, comparing and ordering fractions. This is an example of an activity that children might be given, where they've been asked to organise fractions in order of size. They've been given an eighth, a half and a quarter. The children would organise these from the biggest fraction, which is a half, then a quarter, and the smallest being an eighth. As you can see, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction size, and this is something that teachers would highlight to children. Another activity that children would be asked to do would be an equivalent fractions activity like this. There are three pizzas here. A half is represented in this pizza, two quarters in this pizza and four eighths in this pizza. A teacher might ask uh, the children what pizza they would prefer to have and children would come to the conclusion that it doesn't really matter what one you get, they're all the same size. It would be highlighted that this is called an equivalent fraction at this point. Another type of activity is putting fractions onto a number line. Children would have to count the parts of the number line. So in this example, there's one, two, three, four. That helps them to realise that the denominator of each fraction would be four. And then they can fill in the numerators easily. Another activity that the children would have to take part in is finding a fraction of a quantity. The children would always learn this after they had learned how to divide because it builds on that prior knowledge. In this example, the children are asked to find a quarter of 24. The children are told that the denominator always divides when finding a fraction of a number. So in this example, we're going to do 24 divided by four. There are six fours in 24, so the answer is six. This is the vocabulary that children need to have learned by the end of first level when working with fractions. The first one is denominator, which is the number at the bottom of the fraction, which shows the number of parts all together in the whole. For example, if I had a pizza that was split into eight parts, the denominator would be eight. The numerator, the number at the top of the fraction, which shows the number of parts taken. For example, if I took two pieces of pizza, the numerator would be two. Equivalent, which is the word for two equal fractions, like a half and two quarters. And the next words are the ways that we say fractions out loud. For example, one third, two sevenths, three ninths. The last two words in the list are half and quarter. And it's worth noting that these are the only two where the race analogy does not work. These are just words that the children need to learn.